Hola guys! Have y'all missed me? I have missed y'all. I really, really have. It is, is it two weeks? Three weeks today since I made a video? Let me explain. Um, around this time of year, I like to do a double mortgage payment. That way, the beginning of the next year, I have a little leeway because you never know what could happen. Uh, I like to start off my new year with no mortgage, so I do a double uh, mortgage payment, and that left me with no real play money. So that's why you guys haven't seen me in a little while, but I've made up for it. Um, I didn't realize I had as much Dollar Tree, as many Dollar Tree items, as many Dollar Tree items as I have. Uh, but yeah, and I went to the 99 cent only, and I went thrifting, got a few little things there. And, you know, I had to come on and share it with y'all because I haven't seen y'all in a while. Not like seen y'all, but been here with y'all. I just flicked my nose. Did y'all see that? Anyway, let me get into it. Uh, I'm actually surprised that we don't look dark or orange or too, too ashy. Mm. But anywho, let me jump into what I got. Uh, this, this was... Late last week and then today, actually. Uh, I'm going to show you guys what I picked up at the 99 cent only. A uh, couple, I think it was last week, late last week. I went in there because I really did need plastic baggies and I needed produce. And they have an awesome selection of produce. Y'all have heard me say that before. So I picked up a few little things while I was there. I needed tissue and I was going to get them at the, 90, uh, at the Dollar Tree. But I found these and Getty's. So cute! Aren't they pretty? They're adorable! Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, Tinkers! I told him if he wanted to be in the video, he had to put his pantaloons on. So that's why I looked over my shoulder. He has his pants on. Oh, you got a big heavy head, child! <laughs> Anywho, I just thought these were really, really cute. Oh, good. Now I have a kitty photo bomb. Oh, and he's just going to post himself right there. We all missed y'all. Yes, we did. Okay, anywho, I thought these were really cute little Aunt Getty's boxes. Nobody's going to see them because I put the little dispenser on top, but I thought they were cute. So I grabbed that one and this one, cute little bye boys. I probably am going to keep the boxes for something, but grab those. I found a flashlight. Um, I don't know how well it's going to work considering it's only 99 cents but can't have too many flashlights and with the weather uh getting a little cold and weird around these parts you can never have enough emergency type of flashlights and i had some double double t's the d batteries that came that i went ahead and bought for it because it takes two of them and i don't know what i did with them but they're here somewhere. They're just D batteries. I got those at the 99 cent. Oh, here they are. <laughs> I got those at the 99 cent only as well. And uh, that's what I picked up. There. No, I'm lying. Hold on. I'm out of practice, guys. I found books. Now, this book, honestly, what got my attention was the cover. Isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. It's called Tumbleweeds. And apparently the person who wrote this book also wrote a book um, called Roses. And I googled roses and now I want roses. Uh, but this is a book about a recently orphaned 11-year-old, Kathy Benson, who feels she's been dropped into a cultural and intellectual wasteland, which I take offense to, um, when she is forced to move from her academically privileged life, to, privileged life in California to the small town of Kersey. Here in the Texas panhandle where the sport of football reigns supreme, she is quickly taken under the unlikely wings of up-and-coming gridiron stars, also um, orphans like herself. She forms a friendship with two of them and an eventual love triangle determines the course of the rest of their lives. So, like I said, I take offense that she feels um, 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 we're culturally and intellectually wastelandish. We are a wasteland in Texas. But, uh, I'm going to read it. I thought it was really awesome. It's a nice big read for a buck. So I grabbed that. And whoever was selling it, wherever it came from, was on sale for $5.96. And then I found this one. 
99 cent only is really stepping up their book game. If you guys have a 99 cent only, drop in there. Um, there's some good stuff to be found in there. I found Glenn Beck's uh, Cowards. This is what politicians, radicals, and the media refuse to say. I got this from my oldest. This is going to be the first year that he votes. He's 18. So it's his first election, and he's a little discouraged uh, by what's going on, you know, in regards to who we have to vote for. And he's one of these kind of, I don't want to call him a conspiracy theorist, but he doesn't necessarily believe everything that everybody says right at face value. He always wants to investigate and suspects that everybody's lying through their teeth. So I thought that this would be good for him. This one also is five ninety seven wherever it came from, but another good book. Another good read for a dollar. And then I really geeked out when I saw this one because I'd seen people haul this from nine from Dollar Tree actually. And I'd never found it at Dollar Tree and I found it at ninety nine cent only. Capturing Camelot by Kitty Kelly. I have been fascinated with the Kennedys for as long as I can remember. I personally feel that my mommy in her uh, younger days looked like um, Jackie O. I think so. Um, if I could somehow impose two pictures on there, you might guys think so. You might guys think so. You guys might think so. But I've just been fascinated with them. And it's just books. It's just books. It's just pictures of the Kennedy clan excluding assassination photos and the whole assassination thing which we all are aware of and we've seen movies of and plenty of documentaries on this is just the family the happier times uh, the whole clan so i was really geeked out to have this to add to my coffee table book collection which is getting kind of high i may have to redes redesign or reorganize how my coffee table looks because it's getting up there kind of like my <sighs> book side table but that's everything i got at the 99 cent only i'm gonna jump into dollar tree because we got a lot of dollar tree stuff and i know my dollar treeers like to see that before any thrift stuff oh hold on i lied let me show you guys what i picked up at big lots i went to big lots because i was um trying to take advantage of their frequent buyer whatever i was gonna get five dollars off of a purchase i can't remember what it was i can't remember how much money i would save but that's why i went and I ended up getting, you know, things for the house, laundry detergent, paper towels, toilet paper, that kind of thing. Uh, but little dude spotted the Jurassic World hand soap in Raptor Raspberry. I don't know what that's going to smell like, but it was only a dollar and he geeked out. So I went ahead and grabbed that. Can never have his hands clean enough. And then this, I picked this up Saturday. We had just gotten out of the Peanuts movie. And you guys, even before the Peanuts movie came out, some of you guys know that I love Snoopy. And one of my favorite colors is purple. So are you kidding? It's the best of both worlds here. It's a purple Snoopy mug. Oh, had to have it. It's three bucks. Adorable and lovely and awesome. That will be going to work with me. Then, then, I hit up my Dollar Tree. I hit up two separate Dollar Trees. And, um... Got a few things, um, more batteries because little dude's uh, Xbox remote control runs out really, really quick. I mean, you can only Minecraft so long, but he still wears out his batteries on his controller. I picked up two lipsticks, which I am not even going to bother trying to swatchy poo or show you guys because y'all know how my camera does. They're not going to show true color anyway, but this is one that... I get a lot, and I go through this like if it were friggin' candy. Uh, this is called Breeze. It's uh, from Wet n Wild. It's Breeze, and it's one of my go-to colors. It's a little darker than this, but it's really, really pretty. I love it. And then I came across this light beige frost. Um, I keep trying. Uh, they're kind of similar, but the light beige frost is act is actually darker than the Breeze considering it says light but um yeah they're not cooperating it's just pretty kind of natural tone really pretty color um and i liked it uh but this is my my tried and true and like i said i don't realize i use it as much until i'm down to my last little point and i'm like oh i need some more so i was glad that i found the breeze i really really like the breeze let me put this up here Ooh. Things are falling. Um, I got two more of these. 
can't resist them. This is a little uh, dragonfly, little dragonfly bookmark. And this is a butterfly one. And I think I have this one. The wings are pink and the little gem in the middle is purple. I think I might have this one. I'm not sure, but I couldn't resist them. And they're over there with like the little last minute Christmas stocking stuffery things out right now. So I grabbed two more of those because I, I currently have three books started. And as of right now, I haven't got them all confused, but I tend to do that. I start a couple books at the same time, so those little bookmarks will come in handy. Don't judge. Don't judge. I've been watching my movies, guys. I really have. I make time to just sit down and relax right before bed, and I watch a movie. And I've been watching my Jake Gyllenhaals, and I have come to the conclusion that I honestly believe Jake Gyllenhaal in real life might have a screw loose. I love that he does these dark movies with these dark characters, but I finally watched, um, oh, the one with the crazy rabbit, um, Donnie Darko. I really, really liked it, but I didn't like the end. I guess. No, baby. I didn't like the end. The end was kind of, I won't spoiler alert anybody who hasn't watched the Donnie, the Donnie, I'm stuttering, who hasn't watched Donnie Darko, but the end was kind of to me. And then I watched Enemies and the ending terrified the snot out of me. Uh, and I was confused. I had to Google what other people's perspective of the ending of that movie was because I was like, huh? What? I don't get it. But uh, it was a really good movie until the end. I mean, it totally freaked me out. But anywho, I picked these up. Moving McAllister. Uh, this dude is hired by a big wig political dude to move his niece cross country maybe and shenanigans ensue uh, on their road trip they pick up this random hitchhiker and all kinds of hilarity ensues so grab that one uh world's greatest dad all i saw was robin williams i still get misty when i see robin williams uh according to Paul Fisher of dark horizons robin williams gives the best performance of the year and one of the best movies of the year um and it just sounded really good. He dreams of being a rich and famous writer, but he's only managed to make it as an unpopular high school poetry teacher. Uh, he suffers the worst tragedy and the greatest opportunity of his life. He is suddenly faced with the possibility of all the fame, fortune, and popularity he ever dreamed of if he can only live with the knowledge of how he got there. And this man can make me laugh and can make me cry. All of us probably that are Robin Williams fans have been made to laugh and been made to cry. So grab that. Angel's Crest, the gist of what I got it, it's a young dad who is raising his three-year-old little boy because the mom is an alcoholic and apparently something happens and um, tragedy strikes. They don't give away enough. I'm hoping the child doesn't die, but it's the whole town pointing fingers and blaming who's to blame. I'm pretty sure the kid you know passes so i'm not too sure if i want to watch that but it sounded really good and um it got good reviews from the hollywood reporter and the culture cash i don't really trust the reviews on the online dot coms because i don't know them but like a uh, hollywood reporter magazine cisco and Ebert, that kind of thing i tend to be a little more uh trusting of them uh and this one said hollywood reporter so okay it sounds like a good movie, although it's probably going to be super tragic. The Life Before Her Eyes, Uma Thurman, and even Rachel, Eva, Evan, Rachel Wood. Um, imaginative, impetuous, and wild Diana can't wait for her adult life to begin. Diana tests her limits as her more conservative friend Maureen watches with concern. But Diana's aura of invincibility is shattered when a moment of life and death decision making forever changes the lives of the two best friends. And there's a dude holding a gun right here. So who knows what craziness is going to pop off there. And then I found To the Wonder. Ben Affleck is in here. The star. Uh, Ledger says, real emotion and striking grace. A fascinating piece of art. Time Magazine called it rapturous, forbidding, and wondrous. A movie of unfettered, unstoppable hope. The San Francisco Examiner, Chicago Sun-Times, Star Tribune, Los Angeles Times, and MSN gave them Gave it really, really good reviews. All it says is uh, this man and woman go through many phases in their lives. Um, the way forces merge together and drift apart, transforming, destroying, and reinventing the lives they touch. These two people, apparently. Ben Affleck is a looker. He's really handsome. But I don't think he's 
being used in Hollywood like he could. I mean, he's not like your standard Hollywood hunk, but he's such a good actor. I kind of wish it would go there for him, but he ain't hurting, so never mind. And then I found Matthew Broderick, Wonderful Wonderful World. Uh, Dark Horizons again said Masterful, a stunning performance by Matthew Broderick, Engaging Charmer. Um... Ben Singer is a failed children's folk singer. Um, he's a weekend dad uh, and perhaps the most negative man alive. He's floundering in all aspects of his life. Ben's only comfort comes from regular chess games and friendly debates on game theory with his Sen Senegalese, Senegalese, Senegalese uh, roommate. Uh, then the roommate is struck sick and Sana Lathan, his sister, comes in and... Um, she she changes his ways, his cynic, his cynicism. She changes it apparently. So I think it's gonna be sweet. I think it's gonna be a nice kind of coming round uh to better things kind of movie. One biscuit. Okay, I've gone on and on with the movies. But uh y'all know I like to give y'all the dibs on it. Okay, what else did I pick up? I picked up some Essie nail stickers. Am I shining? Y'all's eyeballs off. I really like these. I think I had these in the past, but I don't recall. So I kind of, I kind of, I liked them and I picked them up. And we're going to give those a shot for the haul o days. Uh oh. I picked up another oh. kitty toy for Fuzzball. You want it? Here. Uh, 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 uh. Hold on. I just realized he took his pants off. Can't have that. But anywho, woo! Um, got little, got fuzzball a toy. I found this and I thought it was really adorable. Little dude is currently in occupational therapy. Um, he struggles with small things like buttons and zippers and tying shoelaces. Like all six-year-olds probably struggle with tying shoelaces. But he's come home attempting to tie them himself. So I know that's part of his occupational therapy. And when I found this, I thought it was really, really cute. You set it on your lap, and you learn to string your shoes. Look, Baba, you learn to tie your shoes. We're gonna use this to try and learn to tie your shoes. Is it a game? Well, we can we can treat it like a game. I just thought it was adorable, so I grabbed that. Whatever I can do to help the kid, you know, because he gets frustrated. And then I found a cable keeper. I've never seen this at the Dollar Tree, but this is something I totally need because my OCD will kick in and there's wires and everything everywhere and it just drives me insane. So it's these little suctiony things that you put on your desk and you put all your little wires through. And of course, I had to get purple. They had yellow and pink and blue and purple and green. But I had to get my purple. I got more of these. I love these. I'm such a sucker for these fuzzy little socks. I hope my spaghetti sauce hasn't boiled over. I'm sorry. I just totally remembered I have spaghetti sauce on. I put it on low medium to simmer. Hopefully smoke alarm doesn't go off. But anyway, adorable. I love them. Can't get, can't get enough of them. But the cat steals them. I don't know if it's because they're fuzzy, but he steals them. But I got two of those for me. If I could find small enough ones for little dude, I would grab him one. Uh, speaking of smoke alarms, I got some of these batteries because they were doing that annoying beep, beep, beep. I can't stand that. I picked this up, and I'm not even sure why. I just thought it was kind of cool. Tool bench, 8-in-1, multi-use knife. One of those little, I don't know if they're illegal to carry or not, but little corkscrew, little nail file, little scissors see I grabbed one of them I just thought it'd be good for my oldest to have I don't know seemed like a guy thing I found these for a buck and man 30 minute dinners that's all I'm about because I get home tired and we gotta do homework and we have to bathe and I have to iron and any mommy or daddy out there that's taking care of little kids understands I ain't got time for no hour long meal Hence why I'm making pasta. Uh, but 30 minute dinners and then all American meals made easy. A lot of the stuff I already know how to make. But there's some stuff in there that has a few little tweaks. And some stuff I've never even thought to make. So yay. Grab those. Swiss Miss for my office. Because I'm not 
a big coffee drinker. I prefer hot chocolate or hot tea. Uh, but I've been getting a little coffee crazy and I put way too much sugar in my coffee. So this is probably the equivalent of all the sugar I put in a cup of coffee. But I like this better anyway, so I grabbed that. Sandwich baggies. Lay stacks. I bought two, but somebody... Oh, you're getting heavy. <laughs> Ow! Little needle elbows. Well, somebody's already gotten into one. Probably already ate one. This was a few days ago. Hold on, biscuit. And then three bottles of the body wash that my Mommy, oldest what is really this? likes. Hold on. This. This book. That's the Bible. That's Jesus' book. That's just looks different than the one in the living room. Okay. Oh. That was all for Dollar Tree. Now I'm going to move on to the few little things that I picked up. The, oh, my head clip got gotcha. you. The few little things that I picked up at the thrift store. Oh, needle elbows. I saw this. I only went to one thrift store. I haven't gone to Goodwill or to Thrift Town. I went to Thrift Mart, the one that has three color tags. And I scored on the red junk store. Mm -hmm. uh, I scored him some toys. Who knows where they are now. Uh, their tags were green, pink, and blue. I got some greens. Green was 75% off. I grabbed this skirt. It's a long... It reaches... Not quite my ankles. It, it's, it's like calf length. It's calf length. I love the pattern of it. It's a little big. I love that I can say that. Um, but I thought it would be nice with a fitted shirt and a denim blazer or just a denim jacket. Kind of a boy girl kind of combo kind of a rough and kind of a tough girl i don't know I, do y'all do y'all feel me i just thought it was really really cute and your hands are freezing it was 4.99 so 75 percent off of that do the math because i i can't hold on i had to make sure he didn't need anything um, you never know with this one. Mm. Anywho, I grabbed that. 75% off, four ninety nine. I like it. Like I said, it's a little big around my waist, but I can cinch it with a belt or nip tuck. I don't know. But I really liked it, and I think it looks good in my head. The outfit I'm imagining looks good in my head. We'll see. Um, I think I've got something like this recently at, the thr at a thrift store. I'm not sure, but... It's just a basic black button down. Uh, the pink was 25% off of $3.99. Short sleeve black. This one was also 25% off. I love this shirt. At first I thought, you know what, I really don't need to be pushing the granny vibe here. But I liked the sleeves. I like the v-neck. And it's this, like this micro accordion. Y'all see that? Like these little micro uh, accordion pleats. And I tried it on and I loved it. The V-neck makes my neck look longer. Takes away from my football shoulders. I carry a lot of my weight on my shoulders. It just elongates my neck and makes me look thinner up here. And then the sleeves come to here and kind of flare out a little on the bottom. And I think it's the pleating. It drapes right over my monster. And somehow the cut of it... It doesn't look like it has much shape, but the cut of it curves in right here and gives me a waist. Who'd have thought a simple little shirt could do all that? It's transformative. It's awesome. I love it. I'm going to pair it with a winter white skirt and some uh, booties I have. Black booties. I thought it was adorable. It was $25 off of $3.99. I found it this outside for a little dude for 50 cents the clothes on the outside are 50 cents i loved it look it has little patches on the elbow so scholarly so awesome and it's a ralph lauren it's a ralph lauren it was 50 cents and i don't see anything wrong with it nothing i kind of got a little um leery of the stuff outside because of that awesome little hoodie i don't know if you guys remember i found an awesome little hoodie for him outside for 50 cents or 75 cents and i come to find out it was missing the zipper so 
Some of you guys suggested Velcro or whatever. So I'm kind of like really, really leery of the stuff out there. But I looked at it and turned it inside out and looked under the arms and sniffed it. And there's nothing wrong with it. 50 cents for a little Ralph Lauren adorable little shirt. And then the last thing I picked up there was this bag. I don't need another bag in my life. But it's real leather. It's this nice, soft, buttery leather and I like the shapes, little saddle bag. I loved it. There's not a brand or anything in it. Um, it's not dirty on the inside, and it was $3.99. So I was like, $3.99 for a nice little saddle leather bag. And not because I'm trendy. I just happened to notice in my people's style watch that the saddle bags are all about the fall and winter right now. But that is everything that I picked up, and it's running on half an half an hour. Yeah, it's running on half an hour, but I missed you guys, and I wanted to be able to come on here and say hi and talk to y'all. And, um, thanks for watching. Let me, hold on. Caleb! What, I'm finished! <laughs> okay. So, till our next go-around, I guess I won't be seeing y'all later because he won't let me. Till our next go-around, thanks you for what? Thanks you. Thank you for watching. <laughs> we'll see you again. Ah, <laughs> oh, oh, what are you going to say? Uh, good night. <laughs> good night.